Thank you for watching this Carrollton City Limits flashback flick. If you like this video, we're going to ask that you please like this video, share this video, and please subscribe to the channel that you're watching this on. If you are from Carrollton or Farmers Branch, Texas, it is very likely that you have heard of Stacy Madison and Susan Smalley. They are two Newman Smith high schoolers who disappeared from Forest Lane. This happened 36 years ago on the 19th of March in the year of 1988. They disappeared and nobody has been able to receive any new information on this case. I recently came across more old news footage on their families and their case and I have always promised to share them as soon as I find them. Before I let you see what their parents have said over the years, I want to say this to the person or persons who know what happened to Stacy and Susan. I'm guessing you are anywhere from the early 50s to maybe even your mid 60s. I'm the same age as Stacy and Susan and I know I'm, I'm 53 years old today. I'm older than what their parents were when this whole nightmare began for them. I know you may feel like you got away with the crimes you committed on these two young lives, but in your dreams, and when you're all alone, I know you are haunted by what you've done. I know that you are on the internet and you're trying to find out if anyone has come forward with any knowledge of what you did. I know you often wonder what may happen when your life has ended. And I can guess that that probably scares you. What is in store for you? The unknown can be haunting. Your body is aging and you know you're on the latter part of your journey in life. I want you to know that the internet is your enemy. But the power of sharing Stacy and Susan's story on this world wide web, well that is definitely our friend. If you didn't commit this crime, but you do have information that would help solve this case, I ask that you please contact the email and the numbers I have provided on this video. If you do speak to someone with the Carrollton Police Department, I encourage you to request to speak to a detective's commander. The current detective who has had this case for many, many years, well, let's just say, I don't think it's his priority. Please stop protecting the person or persons who's harmed Stacy and Susan. You owe it to their parents, families, and to the city of Carrollton to help bring justice in this cold case. Also, to anyone who has information on this case, if a reward will help motivate you to do the right thing, then I promise to personally raise funds to compensate you. To the disgusting low life who stole them from us, I promise you this. I will not stop searching. I won't stop making videos. I'm not going to go away. And neither will our small little Texas town of 133,000 people. I hope you keep looking over your shoulder. I hope you keep wondering if someone's going to find out. Because there will be that one day that you will be confronted by someone who knows what you did. And if you're no longer longer year in life or your life has ended and all of our answers went with you, I take comfort in knowing that there is an afterlife and there is a God and that your justice will be served there. You know, they can... Stacy Madison's panda collection still decorates her bedroom. In the hallway, her mother still proudly shows off her portrait. And in a file cabinet, the family keeps news clippings that date back to March 20th, 1988, the day police found Stacy's Mustang in a Carrollton parking lot. But 17-year-old Stacy and 18-year-old Susan Smalley had vanished without a trace. I felt like my life had stopped, but the whole world was still turning. Five years of searching has scarred this close-knit family. An older sister still imagines seeing Stacy. Because I just, like, look out and there's, like, you know, some people with blonde hair. And I'm like, well, is that her or what? Stacy's younger sister about, is fearful. Sometimes I just look behind my back to see if someone's following me or anything. Carrollton police still pursue tips when they get them, though solid leads have disappeared. Your physical evidence has either been destroyed or or you're not going to locate it. Uh, you tend to lose witnesses. Are you prepared to get the news that they found your daughter's remains? I know in my heart that my daughter is no longer alive or she would have been home. But the most important thing in this for us is to find her remains and to put her at rest. Experts have created this photo of what Stacy Madison might look like now at age 23. But with their lives so long in limbo, the Madisons say even tragic news that ended their searching would be better than no news at all. Shelley Koffler, Texas News 5. And hang out. You know, every time your phone rings, you kind of wonder, or somebody knocks at your door, is this the person that you dread hearing from? Carolyn Smalley, Susan's mother, would welcome some kind of news. Got the girls that are missing. Flyers have been scattered all over Carrollton and beyond. No helpful information has surfaced. For some people, no news may be good news, but for a mother hoping for a child's safe return, no news is agony. Now I can be old and gray and mom won't be a blonde anymore. <laughs> I still won't know the answer. <laughs> It'd still be an unknown, which I hope that doesn't happen. So moms like Carolyn Smalley will keep waiting.
Tim Herrera, Channel 5 News Tonight, in Carrollton. I think she was murdered. I think they were both murdered. I think they're both dead. The past decade has been an odyssey of pain and wondering for Ida Madison and her family. During an evening on the town, her 17-year-old daughter, Stacy, vanished along with a friend, 18-year-old Susan Smalley. The two teenagers were last heard from just after midnight, March 21st, 1988. Several hours later, they were reported missing. Several days later, Stacy Madison's Mustang was found in this North Dallas parking lot, locked and with her portable stereo still in the back seat. Madison's message for whoever killed her daughter is clear. I would say now's the time to come forward. It's been 10 years. And I'm sure that whoever did this is still living with it on their conscience. Madison put Stacy's picture on the internet in hopes of one day finding the truth about that March night 10 years ago. The things that matter are knowing what happened and finding Stacy's body and getting her a decent burial. And we're having some closure to this. Suzelle Spiller, NBC5. 29 years since two young women in Carrollton vanished. But one mother is pleading tonight for help. She thinks that someone knows what happened to her daughter. News 8's David Goins has the interview that you'll only see on News 8. I just keep hoping that somebody will finally step up. For Ida Madison, her hope tonight uh, is not that she'll ever see her daughter again. For a long time, I kept hoping she'd walk in the front door, but I've given up on that. But that she will have an answer as to what happened. 29 years now, I said I'll never give up. Stacy Madison and her friend Susan Smalley disappeared over spring break in 1988. We've never found any trace. Both young women were seniors at Newman Smith High School, where the plaque out front serves as a reminder of a time few who were in Carrollton then will ever forget. Like, that's the incident in which Carrollton lost its innocence. It bothered Sean Sutherland enough that two decades later, the Newman Smith grad wrote a book on their disappearance. Just sort of a calling to speak for somebody who couldn't speak for themselves. Over the years, police suspected a boyfriend may have played a role, but no evidence has ever surfaced linking anyone to a crime. And when a very public 25-year anniversary, including a vigil at the school, didn't produce a lead, Madison said she was done talking about her unending pain. But on Sunday, she broke her silence, taking to Facebook, writing about the disappearance for the first time in four years, saying this has been too long for any mother to endure. I'm not going to stop trying to find out what happened, hoping that somebody will finally come forward and say, I know what happened. And I think there are people out there that know. David Goins, Channel 8 News. 36 years, 36 years without closure, 36 years without answers, 36 years you have walked around with Stacy and Susan's faces burned into your daily thoughts. 36 years you have walked around with guilt and fear and regret. It shows in your face, it shows in your life, and even though you haven't physically paid your debt, you haven't lived a carefree life. If you did this and you're watching this video, it's time to provide the answers that will set you free. Carrollton Police have an anonymous tip line and they have an email that will not be traced back to you. Or if you are the person who may have not committed these crimes against Stacy and Susan, but you do know facts pertaining to this cold case, if the facts you provide can be proven valid, I promise to raise a sizable reward for you. I promise you this, if you don't come forward, I will continue to make more videos just like this one and eventually I will get my answers. Thank you for watching this video. Please help my efforts for Stacy and Susan's family by liking and sharing this video. Let's bring these two women home. Until next time, thanks y'all.